Again, back to uh, Hartwick Valley. Um, and I'll walk the pegs through the It's quite busy today here, as you've seen, as there is a, I guess it's a fell race on, the Chevy Chase, which should be. It comes through uh, Hartwick. Um, yeah, but. Uh, you know, tensions to be up to how to appear, continue along that side of the valley and then come back down through the valley hopefully uh, see uh, how to up Lynn waterfall and, uh, yeah that's the plan so that's the car park where we've come from On your way up with the Cheviot over there. That's the way I went last time. Oh, I'm out of practice. So, carry on up there, past the crags there. There was two crags. And uh, hopefully, this is the steepest bit. Hopefully. Rain viewer. Uh, it feels like a lot further, but I've only done about uh, six or seven hundred metres according to the uh, sat now. But uh, beautiful, that's uh, Langley Crags. And that's uh, Housie Crags. Uh, the runners will be coming towards me uh, if, if we get to see them. Uh, the, yeah, so the, I'm going to come across the top here and across the top of that one before they head back in into the, uh, the town of Wooler for the finish line where they also started off. But they come up that side of the valley. Near the Cheviot, Cheviot, I don't know whether it's just out of view, the Cheviot probably is. And uh, like round the top, Scotsman's Cairn, all that. And uh, back down the valley this way, there's uh, another crag beyond this one. I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. Here we go, that's, uh, what did I say, housey, housey crags. Uh, just about at the top of Long Crags yeah. I'm supposed to be going up there but uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that at the minute and if you can make out in the distance a few fluorescent green specks there the uh, marshals making their way to the uh, various checkpoints cut off time for the race is six hours so I guess they're up there for the duration I say my intention was to go up Hedgehog up Hill and then come down in the valley and see uh, the waterfall yeah. I see how it goes. Look <laughs> all that man.
this is actually just about the top of a uh, long crags um, I don't know if it's possible to uh, circumvent the top there and make my way down to uh, the waterfall feels like cheating a bit like but that just looks uh, uh, so we don't It's long crags back there as you've probably seen I've been overtaken by the mountain rescue man in the uh, top of this hill I assume yeah. I'm at the bottom of the steep bit and it doesn't look quite as uh, horrendous as I thought it's just all I can all I can do is a bit at a time even it's just 10 steps at a time and rest but uh, like I say I've been in the office for three weeks at work instead of being outside where I'm uh, moderately active but uh, like I say I literally sat at a desk for three weeks so it's my excuse it's not the uh, it's not the pizzas and the beer at all like I say I've come this far might as well Still kind of looking for an opportunity to uh, cut down in the valley. Uh. Think 
path so uh, carrying on this way this next summit is Coombe Fell I believe uh, might be that I have to do the full extent of the walk that I planned uh, we'll see Alright. <laughs> oh bummer. So that's the uh, first of a race as I've seen. As you can see there's nobody else in sight. Hopefully we're starting to descend now, get into the valley. Fingers crossed, be a bit easier. I have had to come all the way along the top of that ridge. It's just uh, just too swampy, and I mean it's not bad because it's been dry for a while, but uh, still bits where you're sinking in. And uh, Lord help you in the winter, like in the spring or in the autumn when it's wet. Might not be so bad when it's frozen in the winter, but. Uh, so, looks like I'm doing the full walk. Oh, I don't know if that's, I don't know what that is over there. That looks like some runners over there. Starting to descend now, down towards the air. Uh, you can see the, oh, there's my finger there. That's the river going down there, and it looks like there's a track. Sort of. If you can see where those people are down there. But, hallelujah. Alright. TV is up there somewhere. Uh, and we are finally descending, heading back towards Langley Ford down here. These guys look like some of the runners coming. That first guy that passed got a hell of a lead, uh, <coughs> hell of a lead. It's incredible, I've, uh, I've impressed myself this time. See so that's uh, Heart Hope Hill, you can come all the way along there, run by in the back here. Now, like I say, finally descending the valley. I don't know what to expect in this bit because last time, well, uh, the time I went up to the Cheviot, I was going to come down this way, but the, some guys said it was all all swampy and boggy. But uh, it's a lot drier today. Just for uh, prove us wrong, the boggy bit shows up. Anyway, better put the camera down before I fall down. My favourite bit of this walk, this descent down from uh, Scotsman's Knoll, or Scots, I think it's Scotsman's Cairn as well. Lovely, it's like the looking meander down the, down the valley following the little stream. So it could possibly be a waterfall. Not really pop along there. Maybe over there. Maybe for a better view. Not 
still following the uh, valley. And, uh, it's been quite a challenge this one. I think I've still got about a couple, maybe three kilometres back to the car. But, uh, I think shortly we're going to be on the farm track and possibly tarmac, famous last words. Uh, yeah. We've been up there, one up there, and the other way up there. What we do is, well, there we go, back on something that resembles a road. Uh, still got a fair way to go, because if you look. Up there, that is um, Housy Crag and Long Crag there, and then kind of walked up that way for so yeah, a couple of kilometres I reckon. Still, it's easy walking. Well, <clears throat> well, there we go, viewer. Uh, back in the car. Um, the sat map, I think it's got the battery went flat about a kilometre down the road, but uh, I was okay. But because uh, I could actually see the car from there, um, yeah, so it's only taken it's about six hours that's lasted. Um, I'm sure it should last longer, maybe. Maybe I didn't charge it fully, uh, never mind, N no harm done. Uh, yeah, so I think I've done about 14 kilometres. Um, so, unless I can uh, salvage the information from uh, the sat nav, that's the, uh, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and if you do so, click on the bell to get notifications and uh, share it as well though heaven knows why you'd want to I mean so see you next time